First X-ray image of Comet 3i Atlas reveals signature on seen in other interstellar objects. Is it truly different or do we need to do a better calibration? And what we're looking at is an image by JAXA, optical and detailed X-ray view of the region where Comet 3 Atlas was. The small blue square is the field of the view of X-RISM. Everything is overlaid into a full view of the X-ray sky. The emissions of X-ray is usually the domain of energetic events of the universe, hot stars, supermassive black holes, and the like. However, since 1996 with comet Haya Kutaki, we have learned that even comets can emit X-rays, but despite efforts, no such signal was ever seen for an interstellar object, such as this one. Enter this year's superstar, Comet 3 Atlas, breaking yet another record. In other words, it's got so many anomalies. Interstellar object 3 Atlas is different from its predecessor 3-1i uh, Umama, discovered in 2017, and Comet 2i Borisov in 2019, I standing for interstellar. It's faster, it's older, more active, and estimated to be larger. Now observations from the X-ray telescope XRISM, or XRISM, suggest that it is also the first interstellar object with an X-ray signature. Before the conspiracy theories claim that it is this is some sort of an engine signature or a weapon charging up, let's stress that it is perfectly normal for comets to emit X-rays. This emission comet comes from a specific interaction between the plasma released at high speeds by the sun and the coma, the atmosphere of the comet. This is gas and dust released as the comet gets near the sun. The plasma slams into the gas of the coma, coma and it can rip electrons from the gas's atoms. The electrons are pushed away with such energy that they begin to emit X-rays. It does not matter that comets are among the coldest objects in the universe. This plasma interaction produces electrons with a temperature of millions of degrees. The data was collected from 2320 on November 26 to 2028 on November 28, 2025, with an effective exposure of 17 hours. The primary analysis consisted with a faint X-ray glow spanning 400,000 kilometers or 250,000 miles. The team believes that it would be difficult to explain the signature just with noise from the detector. While more work is necessary, the team has other primary evidence. The X-ray signatures of carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen appeared in the data in a way that could not happen if there was a different source, such as the galaxy at large, or even from our own atmosphere. You might wonder, if looking for an X-ray emission was so important, why did it take so long for astronomers to search for it? Comet 3i Atlas was discovered on July 1st, after all. The problem was its position in the sky. For most of the last several months, it appeared too close to the sky to the sun, in the sky to the sun for X-ray observations to safely be observed. The researchers scheduled the observations from for a moment when it appeared far enough away from the sun to do it safely. Other X-ray observatories can now safely observe it, so we might be getting further X-ray insights into in the coming weeks as we approach the closest distance between the comet and Earth. And this is by IFL Science, Dr. Alfredo Carpanetti. Uh, this uh, interstellar object is expected to be the nearest to our Earth on December 19, about a week before Christmas. Please leave your comments and thank you, your comments, sorry, and thank you for your support. Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.